Yo, hey, what's up guys? How's it going? This is Key. Go. So I haven't really gotten on camera recently to tell you guys what I've been up to here in Japan. Like I've had many experiences and I have many stories to share with you guys. There are some stories that I'm going to tell you about, but there are some stories I can't tell you about, if you know what I mean. Wink, wink. Nah, I'm just kidding. But anyway, like my title says, I met Princess Akiko of Japan. Now, when you guys think about princess, you're probably thinking like, what do you mean by princess, Kiko? Do you mean like uh, like an actor? Are you talking about like a girl who likes to call herself princess? Maybe like a musician or something? No, I'm talking about an actual princess. Like she's a member of the Imperial House of Japan. And her name is Princess Akiko. I'm Kiko. Her name is Princess A Kiko. So, unlike other YouTubers who put something interesting in the title and then wait until the end of the video to tell you about it, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna tell you the story right now. Pretty much what happened is here in Sapporo, there was an event, an international conference, where a lot of uh, college students and high school students uh, attended the event. And Princess A Kiko was the host of the event. And the event was like about talking about like how we can make peace in the world and just kind of discussing about like issues in the world so I mean that that's what the event was about you know she was speaking she talked to us for like a good hour and then we got split into groups and then those groups went into different rooms and then in the rooms we just kind of discussed about like certain issues for example one group talked about like uh, future for the children another group talked about like how we can stop war I mean there were there were many things we talked about remember everybody got into split into groups and then those groups went into different rooms and then in those rooms we got split into groups again okay so so, I mean, there was a lot of people there. So anyway, me and my table were discussing and one of the security guards comes up to my table and says, hey, listen guys, the princess Akiko is gonna sit with you guys for like 10 minutes, so be ready. Just prepare, mentally prepare yourselves. And you know, we're like, okay, okay, we understand. You know, she's gonna sit with us. So he left and everybody got kind of like, I guess we got kind of nervous, kind of worried, like, damn, what are we gonna say? What are we gonna say, you know? Now for me, I was kind of thinking like, man, I'm just gonna try and be her friend when she comes here, you know, talk to her normally and just kind of try and start up a conversation. I asked some of my table members like, hey, do you think I could give her like a fist bump or something? You know, maybe like a high five? And they're like, yeah, you should probably not do that because you're going to get arrested. And I'm like, why? Because if you put your hand into a fist, they're probably going to think you're like attacking her or something. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm like, no fist bumps, all right, that's cool. So anyway, after like about 10 minutes, a bunch of security guys walk in and they're escorting her and she sits right next to me in the seat next to me, you know? And right away, my whole table becomes silent. Like none of them say anything. No one looks at her, no one says anything. So what, what do I do? I'm like, hi, Akiko-san, I'm Kiko. And she looked at me like, kind of a little bit surprised, like, oh, Kiko, and I'm like, yeah. And I'm like, um, this conversation at this table, um, we, were we were speaking in English, like we were supposed to be speaking in Japanese, but because I don't speak that good Japanese, my table members were all like good English speakers. So anyway, I told her, I'm like, um, listen, this conversation we're having is in English. Like, is it okay? Like, can you understand English? And she's like, yeah, yeah, she's like, I understand English. I'm like, okay, good, good. After that, we started discussing World Peace again and everybody was kind of nervous. Nobody was looking in her direction and we were just kind of like forcing our conversation. So I kind of said something, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then I looked at her and I'm like, so what do you think? Like, what is your opinion on this, you know, topic? She pretty much said like, yeah, like I can't really discuss politics. And I'm like, damn. <laughs> shut down real quick. So we continued uh, talking within the group and I mean, I didn't really know what to ask her cause she said she couldn't really talk about the topic we were talking about. And I couldn't really like ask her something like, yo, so what are your hobbies, you know? Cause we had to talk about this topic. So none of that was going down. So anyway, after after a few minutes, you know, the security guys came and get her and she left. And you know, I mean, that was, that was pretty much it, you know? Some people are like, why didn't you take a picture? Man, they made it very clear that no pictures were allowed. That's the reason why. And after she left, my group members are kind of like wow like <laughs> you were just talking to her like nothing I'm like yeah it's like no problem and one of my group members said like if I asked her for her number and she gave it to me I would have gone down like as a legend here but I'm like you know that's asking the impossible right there you know <laughs> And then later I kind of learned that Japanese people are raised to not speak to royalty unless spoken to first and to kind of like respect their space. And me, well, you know me, like I was playing my gaijin card hard, you know, I was like, I'm going to talk to her, you know, forget that, don't speak to her unless spoken to first thing. Like I, I didn't even know that, come on, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm gaijin, man. <laughs> so anyway, there's story number one. Now let's go on to story number two. What's 
Um, so during the summer, I went down to Tokyo, and when I was in Tokyo, I was visiting my brother Jerry, and then a bunch of his friends invited me and Jerry to go to the beach. I oiled myself up, I got my bikini body ready, and then me and Jerry got on the train for two hours. We arrived at the beach, and no one showed up. So we're like, yo, where's everyone at? And pretty much in the message, in the group chat, everybody was kind of confused, because people were like, we're going to the beach, yes or no, yes or no, yes or no. No one said yes, or definitely, so since there wasn't a certain yes nobody went so it was kind of confusion so you know we were slightly disappointed but for the first time in japan i heard reggaeton music reggaeton music is like a type of spanish music it's like I only hear that like in the States, like in the Latino community, you know? So I was kind of surprised to hear this in Japan. So I'm like, all right, gotta follow the sound of that music and see where it's at, da, 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 da. So we went to the place and it was a restaurant. It was like a Mexican restaurant. I was surprised. First time I saw that in Japan, a Mexican restaurant in Japan at the beach. Now, when I showed up there, the owner, the guy who was like an older guy, he greeted me and my brother and he's like, hola, hola, you know, like, hi, hi. So I used, uh, I started talking to him in Spanish and then he told me to go order some food and I'm like, all right, definitely. So I go up to like the, the register lady and I start ordering my food in Spanish. You know, like I want this, I want this, I want this. And then she asked me a question, but I didn't understand her, like her Spanish, like I, I didn't understand. And I was like, huh, I told her Heard something in Spanish and she didn't understand me so we were kind of like talking in Spanish but we were both confused and to start off guys my Spanish isn't that good I know Spanish but like conversational Spanish only so I was kind of like doubting my Spanish skills at that point so I finally got my order in I started saying some English and then um, later on I asked Jerry I'm like hey uh, whose Spanish was like off and he, he's like I think more of her or maybe you and I'm like I don't know I don't know and then later on I found out that her Spanish was like Japanese Spanish Spanish. If you know what I mean? For example, to say thank you in Spanish is gracias, and the way she said it was gurashasu. It's kind of different, you know? And I didn't really understand it, but then I understood later on, like, okay, it's more like Japanese katakana. So anyway, we were there enjoying our food, listening to the good reggaeton. I was like, yeah. And then later, like, this one guy in a tank top walks in with, like, a necklace, shades, you know? He has, like, this hot 10 out of 10 Japanese girl following him, you know? And I'm like, all right, there's something going on here. So he sits down like all chilling like without a care in the world and then he looks out at the beach and he's like just chilling you know just just chilling man. The Japanese girl is trying to have a conversation with him he's kind of just like I don't really want to talk to you right now like you know that type of attitude. From the conversation they were having it sounded like they just met because she was asking stuff like so what kind of languages did you, do you speak? And he looked kind of like yeah I speak you know I speak some Spanish, English, Japanese and then he looks back like at the beach you know just chilling like not caring and the Japanese girl is like oh you know you know and I'm like you know there's a story going on here you know <laughs> and then um five minutes later the owner the older guy he like like walks out of the kitchen with like these two young Japanese girls following him and they're just kind of like giggling and talking with him and we're like okay okay they're probably like just you know some workers or something and then he runs upstairs like all happy like kind of giggling like looking back and then you know and we're like okay okay and then the Japanese girls follow him upstairs like giggling and we're like okay yeah there's definitely a story going on here and I kind of want to find out you know like who are these people you know like what are they doing in Japan you know like why do they speak like Japanized Spanish but I didn't ask any questions and you know it was, it was pretty interesting but anyway that happened and now let's go on to story time three so while here in my town Sapporo Jerry came to visit me I visited him in Tokyo he came to visit me and we decided to go down to the bar with our friend our third friend and we were just at the bar chilling you know having a couple drinks just talking with our friends just chilling you know whatever and then the bartender he busts out two shot glasses fills up the shots gives one to me gives one to Jerry and we're like wait we didn't order no shots man we didn't we didn't order no shots and I'm like this guy probably made a mistake but you know what we're like yo if life hands you a free shot you take that whether it's a mistake or not you're gonna take that guy so we took it and we're chilling and then the bartender is like oh that girl over there she bought it for you guys and we're like what girl and then, uh, he pointed to a girl me and jerry look back at her she smiles at us waves and then winks and we're like huh well that's a first we've never had a girl buy us a shot so it was a little bit mind blowing like so at that point, me and Jerry are like, okay, so one of us has to go over there and thank her. And I'm like, all right, who's it gonna be? And Jerry's like, all right, you got this one. I'm like, all right, cool. And I'm like, I went up to her and I'm like, hey girl, what's good? And she's like, not much, boy, what's good with you? And I'm like, you know, you bought us a shot, you know, and I just wanted to thank you. And she's like, how do you want to thank me? And I'm like, well, if you want, you could kick it with me later at my place, you know, just me 
maybe you could bring one of your friends, I bring one of my friends, and we could all be friends, you know what I'm saying? And she's like, yeah, I know what you're saying. <laughs> no, that didn't happen, guys. There's no way that happened. <laughs> no, um, I went up to her and I asked her pretty much like in Japanese, like, can you speak English? And she's like, nah, I can't speak English. And I'm like, damn. I'm like, okay. And I'm like, well, uh, thank you for the shots. And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, okay. And I'm like, okay, I don't know Japanese. I don't really, I don't really know what to say here. And I'm like, uh, what are you, what are you going to do later? And she's like, uh, in Japanese, this is going on in Japanese. I'm like, what are you going to do later? Like after the bar? And she's like, I don't know. Me and my friends are probably just going to head home. And I'm like, all right, cool, cool, cool. And I'm like, if you're interested, do you like want to go to the club with me and my friends? And she's like, nah. And I'm like, really? And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, so you don't want to go to the club? Nah. And I'm like, Okay, you know, I'm like, sounds good. And I'm like, okay, bye, <laughs> peace. That, that's pretty much what happened. It was kind of weird. Like, girl, buys us a shot, go talk to her, invite her to like go hang out, and she pretty much shuts you down. I don't get it. You know, that's kind of like mixed messages right there. You know, explain that to me. Explain it. Teach me. So anyway, that's the end of those stories for today. And I'll make another video about other stories later on. And I know like the experiences aren't that exciting, but they're like kind of like notable. You know, something that kind of caught my attention. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. So I mean, let me know what you think. You know, I hope. I was able to entertain you for a couple minutes and you know I hope you like the stories and yeah drop a like drop a comment and yeah see you guys in the next one right peace out